Testing, testing. Testing, testing. Am I on the internet? I think so. All right, testing one, two, you guys hear me? Am I online? Is this coming through? All righty, so it is, uh, what day is it? It's Monday, it's not a stream day. We're doing extra stuff today. We have a plane, we have a plane scene, surely, uh, Surely nothing at all can have bad bad happen on this plane. Twice in the same day. That's right. Why not? <laughs> sure. Didn't get enough done earlier. It's hot. All right. AC's on. Sorry if it makes any noise. <laughs> if I didn't refresh my feed, I would have went to bed. Ah, uh, come on. Well, let me keep you from your beauty sleep. You know what? Let me... Sorry. Someone's not... Oh, that was the same color. Never mind. Uh, you're here for this? This, this is, this is very different from earlier. <laughs> Perfectly normal plane scene. Absolutely no way something bad would happen. Yes. Yes, that's it. <laughs> I mean, the, the this is the like the only page in the whole book, I think, so far where it, where it was like sunny sky, nice day. Like, really? Are you sure in this book? Who was it earlier? Ask about explosions. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, technically, the I did a short coloring the exploded engines already. So if 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 you're if you're paying close attention to my channel, spoiler alert. Yeah, so in reality, here's a here's a lesson on exposure. <laughs> if we can see the outline of the sun, we would not be able to see details on the plane. Uh, but luckily, this is a comic book. Luckily, it's just a comic book. And, uh, yeah, I don't really want this to look like clouds, <laughs> even though it sort of does. So I'm smudging all of this stuff. I'm trying to basically not use any gradients or, like, completely soft glows on this book at all. I, I, I don't know. I, I think it looks best without it. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm shooting for here. I'm gonna figure out. Uh, I'm gonna change the color of the sun. 
don't need to see those uh, lines. So do a little bit on top of the lines, I think, for these things. I wonder what these look like if they were clouds. Not bad, actually. Uh, let me try something then. Hold on. Instead of do that. I can do that. Sorry, I'm basically talking to myself. What, what, what are y'all doing? <laughs> Yeah, I think I like that look. I don't know if that's what he wanted, but <laughs> that's, I think it looks cool. If it does, if he doesn't like it, I'll, uh, we can always change it. And I can get rid of this stuff. We can blend all that in instead. I was going to like do cloudy stuff. And I'm like, eh, it kind of looks like clouds. There we go. Looks just like a, eh, we're ready to, oh, it looks like a, 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 what do you call it? An airplane commercial or something. Surely nothing wrong can happen. I tell you though, uh, this, this book has uh, or my my whole range of books that I'm doing right now. <laughs> I'm never bored. That's the thing. I, uh, just there's a really really pretty big uh, variance, I guess you would call it, <laughs> between like what I'm what I'm getting to do right now, which is always fun. And I think I am going to, what is this? So, well, these panel borders are, I wonder if he intended that to be a color because they're super thin. I'm sorry, I'm just thinking out loud again. I'm going to instead, uh, Choose the rectangle tool. Let's see if I can't make that uh, top line a little bit cleaner looking. That didn't work. Hold on. a little bit better uh, you're teaching yourself how to make fonts that seems interesting how is the lettering business going for you by the way I'm thinking he did intend for this to be a color. 
because of I don't most of the book does has panel borders that are thicker than this. So I'll have to wait and ask. I don't know unless he well he didn't mean for him to be black because there's already black. We'll find out later. When you talk to yourself, we usually get to understand your thought process. You aren't crazy. Uh, lettering is good for getting a fair amount of work, so learning a lot. That's awesome. Excellent, excellent. Do I know these people? No, they're both... Uh, what do you call them? Flight attendants? Is that the... What's the word now? All right, so what color are the plane seats? Even in the plane, I'm pretending the plane has atmosphere, <laughs> so it gets a little bit darker at the bottom lighter as it goes back yeah I don't think this scene's gonna take very long massive departure from the rest of the pages right um what do I want to start with yeah I want to start by darkening all of this a little bit As we go, as we go down the aisle, I think it will look right if it sort of fades going that way. I think. I think. Again, I'm sort of overcooking it. You can always kind of dial it back. doing some lettering having fun it's very interesting i think that is one of those things that's probably more interesting than most people think it is you know probably not unlike coloring where there's a little more than people think going on probably The Nate Pico's book makes everything easier. That's awesome. Good to know, good to know. Alrighty. I actually got, I get two pages back to back on this. I might just do them both together. Sometimes I think that, I don't know, maybe it might be in my head, but sometimes it feels like it's faster. It's probably not. 
<laughs> but, but it feels like it. If you have like two pages and kind of bring them up all at the same time to with whatever, you know, um, whatever you're doing. You know, like I said, I don't know if it's faster or if it just feels like it. Somebody asked me, and I thought it was a great question. I probably am going to do a video about this. But somebody had asked me that was like, if you have a limited palette and you're wanting to decide on a skin tone for it, and they were talking about how they were having problems with uh, the skin tone feeling out of place or whatever. Um, I can tell you what helped me to uh, sort of overcome that is instead of thinking in terms of let me let me do an example real quick um sorry if that's bright and handy color wheel can't even go far without that so um let's say for example and this is like a really easy obvious example but well maybe it's not it's one I use all the time. So it feels easy, but it might not be. But let's say this is my palette, all right? I'm going to pick... Uh, we got... Let me get rid of that uh, blue background completely. That. And I'm going to pick some other colors. We're just going to pretend that this is uh, the background of the, of the limited palette that I'm working with here, all right? And then they're like, all right, I want uh, a skin tone. And they're like, all right, I need a skin tone. Uh, skin tone is this, and it's right about here, and do this. And they do that. And it's like, well, this, you know, I mean, it might look pretty as a color, but it might stand out too much. If you're going for, like, a all-cool, like, chilled-out palette, uh, and you just grab skin-colored skin, it's going to really, really come forward because there's nothing, you know, there's nothing else in the ballpark of that color. You know, from a contrast standpoint, every other thing on the canvas is right here, and we've just created a spot over here. Which sometimes that's what you want if you want it to come forward that much. But I can tell you the first thing that I would try is this, is if like you're wanting to bring that in toward your palette, is to literally bring it in toward your palette. So, so like if your if your palette lives here and your skin color is over here even this is interesting that is the same color as that but you can't it doesn't feel that way right so um <laughs> like it feels warmer over here and cooler over here um but the first thing to do is to just start pulling that toward that side so instead of having your skin tone here sorry here start bringing it in this way which is gonna pull it, you know, around to there or so. So if I pick, you know, that color and put that down instead, um, or, I mean, let me find, a, that's probably, even that's probably too saturated. It would it'd really be almost gray. Um, and even gray on this feels warm. Like this is a perfectly gray spot, okay? See where it is? 
there's no color in this but if i do this it looks warm and i've talked about this a lot but it looks warm because it's in the warm direction when your whole palette is right here then just going this way means you're getting warmer even if you don't cross the line into the warm colors okay just heading in that direction is enough so like that uh you know to me if, if this is my environment this would not this would be a decent skin tone for this particular situation <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like if we, uh, if you shift the colors underneath, it probably means you shift the, you know, uh, shift the skin tones around a little bit too. But the first thing you can all do is just, especially if you have a cool background, is desaturate it because cool colors are going to uh, basically offset um, your skin tones. They're going to like neutralize each other basically. Um, but instead of just, picking skin tone skin tone color skin tones okay that doesn't look right okay we know it doesn't look right this is what people are asking about so instead of cho choosing that skin tone i'm gonna leave it in there i'm just gonna open up hue saturation and start dialing it down and it's gonna start to fit better because all i'm doing is in my uh in my rubber band of of contrast tension here i'm just lowering it you know, right now my background's here and my skin tone's over here. All I'm doing is bringing it in. Does that make sense? Anyway, hopefully it does. <laughs> but you can see I'm kind of, I'm pushing the skin into the color I want it to be instead of just like randomly picking a color and saying that's the one. You know, I'm making sure that color actually belongs or feels like it belongs does that make sense you guys are quiet <laughs> all righty back to it It does. Okay, good. I'm glad I arrived at the perfect time to hear that explanation. Hey, Angela, how's it going? I'm glad I can be of service. <laughs> That'll be $100, please. No, I'm kidding. Thank you. Thanks for coming by. Uh, it was very uh, it was very cool this uh, weekend. I had a family uh, Christmas shindig thing, and... Uh, I've got a nephew, uh, Coulter, that is, uh, he's uh, becoming quite a little artist. And uh, it's funny because he uses Procreate. And so I, I, I had brought my iPad. I don't get to see him very much so every couple months. So I brought my iPad. And uh, it's a, I think he has a regular iPad. I have the iPad Pro from 18, 2018. And he's also had an Apple Pencil and lost it. Uh, and so now he has like a cheapo third party pencil that doesn't work as well. And so the first thing he does is he starts playing around with it and he goes, this is smooth. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, your dad's going to kill me. You get home and he wants this thing. He's like, no, he had a pencil at one point. <laughs> and then now he's got a cheap one because he lost it. So, uh, but it was, uh, it was so funny to see how he had kind of naturally figured out a way to, uh, you know, color, uh, and you know color his his art and in procreate has not it was all in one layer uh but it was it i mean he's i don't know how old he is was he 13 12 13 14 somewhere in that range 
but uh it, it was it was fun to get to uh uh you know share pro tips with somebody that's really really motivated <laughs> like he is so uh that was really fun what happened to my what okay <laughs> I just made a layer that disappeared. Hold on one second. I swear. There we go. Okay, stay this time. Oh, you subscribe to his YouTube channel, Jason? Yeah, it's the same, the same, same one. Sorry, I mean, these, boy, these, like, uh, these spammers are relentless. But yeah, he was, he was, uh, he was excited because he had just, uh, he had just hit, uh, 2,000 subscribers on his YouTube channel. And so... He was excited about that. He's also, he asked a lot of questions about my YouTube, which is cool. But we had a good time. I'm kind of getting some splotches of color in here. And you're like, that looks a little splotchy. Well, that's correct. Because I'm about to uns unsplotchy it. <laughs> This is just using a like a watercolor uh, blender. How you doing? If you're just joining, welcome. Uh, this page is going pretty quick. Shouldn't be too long. We'll move on to the next one. 
If you have questions, comments, concerns, feel free to ask. No back seating. So I'm sort of imagining, uh, you know, the light from the windows behind her kind of coming around here on this side. And so you get a little bit of a, of a rim light situation. And then, uh, you know, it might even be easier if I do this with a lasso. Hold on. I want to see if this works. Um... Something like that. I'm gonna bl smudge it all anyway. Is this faster? And then switch to the blender and pretend like we painted it. actually kind of works. And if you're like me and just never choose colors that are the right warmth the first time, <laughs> then use a use an overlay layer to fix it. So we kind of have this um, band of redder <laughs> parts of your face right through the center, and uh, that is a good way to uh, make a face look like it's alive and not just uh, I don't know what the term would be in is the clip paint course as in-depth as the other Photoshop courses? I like to learn both for clip and Photoshop, but I don't know where to start. All I know is that I like clip studio paint uh, until they decide to do a subscription. Uh, you're okay for now. You can still buy it without a subscription. Uh, have you always started uh, traditionally or... Okay, there's a lot of questions here real quick. So, um, uh, yeah, the, the clip studio is in-depth in a different way like they're, they're like Photoshop courses there's there's a lot of tech stuff but there's also a big focus on the color telling color the storytelling side of things uh, there's uh, there's more technical stuff in the clip it's more strictly like a technical course the clip is um, so it just depends they're, they're both uh, they're, there's not I mean there's overlap but I don't know if there's enough overlap that you would care if, if I was just starting and you're using clip I would start with the clip course uh, unless you know how to do it technically. The Photoshop is a little bit better, I would say, for from the from the standpoint of like big picture uh, you know, coloring. Um 
you know, which is the important stuff. <laughs> so you'll you'll learn you'll learn a lot either way. And maybe somebody else here can chime in if they. I know I've got a lot of people that have taken those courses here. Have you always started coloring digitally or was there a traditional coloring period of your career? Uh, outside of like a handful of, you know, like a Bob Ross painting or like, you know, I think I did one of those in middle school and a handful of little watercolor, you know, cheapo watercolor kits from like the dollar store or just anything. But like other than that, no, I wasn't, uh, uh, I wasn't big on um, on traditional painting coming up. Uh, I do. If you go to learn.comiccolor.com, there's a link in the description that'll take you there. Um, I've got lots of courses, Clip, Clip being one of them. But yeah, good questions. And I don't know how these backgrounds are simple, but I don't really think they need much. It doesn't really feel like it needs much more than it has. I think learning that uh restraint <laughs> is uh is a big part, I think, of, of, of learning how to be a colorist, is learning when to leave stuff alone. moon that moon the sun is like uh a little cartoony yellow to me at the moment so i, I want to get rid of that i don't know i just want to go closer to white yeah better and let's do this i want to i want to uh, again just to sort of laser you in to the middle, not that it needs help for me as a colorist, but uh, I do think I want to, wait, what just happened? Oh, I accidentally dragged something. Ooh, what order were these in? That's gonna screw me up. I'll I'll realize it in a second. I think this one was on top and that was on bottom. <laughs> Somebody go back and look at my video and tell me which one of these auto select tools was on top if you ever notice it. <laughs> no, you probably won't be able to see that. It happens so fast. Yeah, that's the right order. Uh, uh, my autopilot kicked in. I'm like, yeah, that's it.
I genuinely thought comic pages had to be fully rendered like the covers till I saw these live streams. I mean, some covers aren't rendered. I mean, it's like you can have like flat colored colors covers sometime if you want to. Um, it looks like it is the way you have it now. It looks like it is the way you have it now. Question. I don't know what you're asking me. Sorry. <laughs> what is that? One more time. Stylized painting is a trend in covers too. Yeah, pretty much. What was the... Everything is permitted. <laughs> it works in Assassin's Creed and comic books. Anyway, all right. I don't, I don't quite follow what's happening in the chat. Y'all, I feel like I missed something. Your layers are the same. Yeah, I think the problem is with the delay and my goldfish brain, like in the in the 20 seconds it takes to come to the chat and back i'm already like what did i say what was i talking about yeah sorry teresa if you could just uh explain one more time what you're asking i don't mind uh answering that uh, thank you for your membership, by the way, also. Yeah, you can become a channel member and you get uh, special uh, coloring of your name in Discord and you get special access and you get a live class every month and and you get access to all my old streams as a YouTube member. If you, There's a bunch of them. Alrighty, we got some people. Yeah, I am. Uh, I've I've reached out to some um, friends of mine in the that are also writers and whatnot, and uh, I'm gonna be picking their brain about some story stuff. And uh, I'm doing my own book next year, or something horrible happened. <laughs> that's uh, that's my plan. I've got to get this. I, I want. I've I've got. I, I've I've got to for my own sake. But yeah. I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to do a lot of that on the stream. Oh, those are the same. Okay. These aren't the, it's not layers is why I mentioned that. Uh, these are the settings for my, uh, wand is what I was talking about but yeah thank you that's why I was confused I was like what <laughs> alrighty uh, I'm gonna do the background and all of these first and then we'll do all the people I'm just grabbing as, as many colors as I can off the previous page. That makes, uh, keeps it, makes it easy to keep consistent.
Oh, I found out, um, I really haven't, uh, even been paying attention to, um, the, what do you call it, um, the new iPads? They, they, they have a new, one of those M2 iPads, they're, they're really, uh, really nice, they're very, um, very fast and all that stuff, but, uh, I'm... It has a like the hover feature that I didn't think would be possible on an iPad, where um, you know how like I'm not touching the canvas right now, but you can see the brush. And uh, now, that's a new feature on the iPad Pros. Sorry, I've got a back thing. Give me a second. <laughs> Sorry, this is going to be loud, I'm afraid. Maybe not. <laughs> and yeah, I do have a head like an owl, by the way. <laughs> Sorry. I thought it was going to pop. Sometimes it pops very, very loudly. Uh, when you say you will do your own thing next year, uh, with a comic book, what part will you do? All of it, except lettering. I'll hire a letterer. <laughs> but yeah, writing, drawing, all that stuff, coloring will be me. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I've been wanting to do that for a long time. The problem just been that, and it's not a complaint, but I've just been too busy. So it's a good problem to have. <laughs> Good reason to not be able to do what you want to do, but still, uh, yeah, when, when, with the way these things are, uh, from a, I mean, I love coloring, don't get me wrong, but I do want to do my own thing. And I'll, I'll pitch it to Vault just because I'm friendly with him and we'll see what happens. And if it doesn't go there, I'll probably just Kickstarter it. But what whatever it is, we'll pull like double duty as, um, you know, a comic book and it'll also have like there's gonna be like a you know director's cut or something it's gonna be like all coloring tutorials <laughs> that's that's the goal so we just uh, we kill all the birds with all the stones that's the goal uh, thank you for getting rid of uh, the spam you know I'm on board for lettering I have already talked to Hassan <laughs> about lettering. I gave him uh, some of the uh, uh, the specifics of what I've got in mind. He, he, he's interested, so. Hold on one second. I got a message I need to... Uh, Haas is much better than me. <laughs> I can accept that. I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, that would have been it. Would have been cool, but yeah, I, 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 I was, I was definitely looking for somebody with like a lot of experience. And Haas is one of my favorite. I mean, he's literally like my favorite letterer. So, yeah, don't take it personally. <laughs> All right, what else? Plain seats. We know what color they are. He just, uh, he makes creative decisions. You know what I mean? Like, you know, he, he never just like, oh, well, let me just do this caption. You know, it's, uh, he just, I, I love the way he thinks about lettering and he's so creative. 
Um, but yeah, it's really cool. I know there's a lot of people um, that are think similarly to me of just wanting to do to make their own book. I, I, and uh, so yeah, I'll probably just uh, I'll stream a lot of the creation of the actual book and chop that up into YouTube videos. I think that's the plan. Uh, is there a part you're kind of uh, feeling less secure writing, drawing, one you look forward to? Um, that's a good question. I, I'm definitely least secure. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm insecure, but I, I'd say I'm less secure about um, uh, the, 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 the hardest part, which is the writing. <laughs> the hardest part is definitely the writing. Uh, and I think the hardest part is always the writing. Uh, <laughs> you know... Uh, so I don't know. I guess it depends. But, uh, but anyway, yeah, it's, I, I, I'm not a writer, like, uh, as naturally as I am an artist. Like, I've been drawing since I was born. I have no issues at all with, I'm looking forward to drawing it, looking forward to coloring it, all that stuff. Um, but actually trying to figure out what story that I'm uh like what the story itself's going to look like is probably the part that I am uh need the most help with. <laughs> so I like I said I'm I'm calling some backup. Uh but uh, it it'll be it'll be unique. It it'll, it'll it'll be different. Looking forward to it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I haven't checked out any of their podcasts yet. I'm 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 so behind on like podcasts. <laughs> uh, I only subscribe to a few, but uh, even those, I'm like I I don't drive anywhere. Like it used to be, it was like all right, well you've got you know so and so to go anywhere, and I'm not driving places like <laughs> like I used to. Um, so I, I don't I don't have a lot of. Uh, I don't know. I, I could do it. I could. Li I listen to them on the working sometimes, but even then, like I'm, I'd, I prefer music. So, who knows? Yeah, mostly at the computer. Yeah, I just get tired of being at the computer. <laughs> That's why I don't think I play PC games very often because it's just like. You know, I'm at the computer enough. <laughs> this guy looks like me over here on the right. <laughs> Minus the uh, almost mullet here.
thought it was funny last night on my uh, on my Discord, uh, and I'll put a link in the, if somebody's going to ask. So I'm going to put a link to it real quick. Um, but somebody was asking about how to do something, and I was having a difficult time understanding the question, and somebody responded with my videos. It was like, this here and this here at these two timestamps will explain it. And I'm like, I got to subscribe to this guy. <laughs> that was that was more useful than what I was saying. But he sent him my own videos. And I'm like, I, I don't think to do that often enough. So, yeah, I should remember to do that. For your project, is there anything you dislike in other comics that you want to avoid in yours? Too much dialogue, not enough action. On the other hand, is there something you really want to do in it? Uh, I think, are you a podcast interviewer? These are good questions. <laughs> um, is there anything I dislike? Um and other comics that I want to avoid. I don't know if I would say that. I just, um, it'll be, you know, it, it'll be dialogue heavy. It's it, uh, there's a big mental health focus in it. Uh, this is, this will not be the, like a traditional, um, what's the word I'm looking for? This won't be like a, a traditional comic book story or anything it's it's uh, like it's not going to have action in the way that you're thinking of action i don't think uh well maybe yeah actually it will never mind um i don't know man i i don't i don't i don't think i've done enough to figure that out yet and all the things that i want to tell you that i want to do in it i'm not really ready to tell you yet <laughs> Because some of it's just unique, and I haven't seen anything else like it, and I, I don't want to keep it that way. So, um, so yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. Good, good questions. They really are. But, um, but yeah, I, I probably have as many questions as you do about <laughs> what the story I'm doing. So there's that. Sometimes the worst part about <laughs> trying to do this is just the random colors you have to come up with. Not the worst part, but it's like the least obvious part. It's like because when it doesn't matter what color it is, then it's like, well, well, what should I do? <laughs> you got too many options. Or if you're like me, you just put something in there and then shift it around until it looks decent, <laughs> like this. I don't know. I, I do wonder sometimes. There, there's some some other colors that I've. I, I, it's been a while since I've hung out with them. That are that were. Uh, I don't know. I, we I have different ideas about coloring. I guess. Not really different ideas, but like I don't know. There's a simplicity to to coloring that I think it's easy to to overcomplicate it. Really easy to overcomplicate it.
And this sort of sickly green that I'm using right now is almost like a... Oh, we're getting fancy art school terms here, but it's like a, it's a motif. It's a theme. When this shows up, weird shit's happening. stretch for a second right at an hour i swear my hands are on a timer like <laughs> when they want to break questions comments concerns i'm just going to stretch for a minute now's a good time to ask questions <laughs> um oh i'm also uh i don't know if it'll be tonight but but I, I, I want to do some uh, fan art for uh, of, or of, of of Zion Williamson, who's a basketball player for the Pelicans, which is an NBA team. And I've got an idea for a... Uh, this would be like a painting that would take a while. So and, I, and I'm thinking about doing it just late at night <laughs> when I'm doing it anyway. I don't normally stream late very often, but I'm thinking about it. Kurt doesn't like silence. <laughs> I just, you know, not silence. It's just, um, I don't mind silence. But most of the time, if I'm, especially at this point in a page, I'm just like, I don't know what to talk about at this point. Or I start rendering. That'll be something we can talk about a little bit, maybe. But I don't know what to talk about on these things. So I, I'm, I'm like fishing in the chat. <laughs> Somebody say something. <laughs> it'll give me an idea to talk about something that's different yeah it'll be different it'll be a challenge that's kind of why i want to do it it's got likenesses it's going to have real pelicans in it <laughs> I mean, it's such a goofy idea but it's it's exactly if you if you if you're familiar with the um sort of like the meta <laughs> of the uh, the Pelicans uh, online community, then uh, it'll be right in line with all that. It should be good. Uh, what kind of music do you listen to when you don't have us as company during a coloring? Uh, I listen to all kinds of stuff, man. I've been or I've been listening to the new Taylor Swift album lately. Uh, I really like it a lot. Um, I listen to uh, a lot of like ethereal just you know stuff you might hear while you're getting a massage you know what i mean like it can't really have too much of a beat to it or like i'm distracted and wanting to play drums in my head and i can't uh it can't have too many lyrics because i'll be thinking about those uh basically the music can't be too interesting uh <laughs> so uh I mean, I've been listening to like chakra healing frequencies lately. Like, I mean, just anything that is, you know, Tibetan bowls, like it doesn't matter as long as it's just kind of floaty and out there and doesn't require too much brain power. <laughs> Yay, Taylor Swift. Yeah. I hope she wins in her uh, lawsuit. Try it one second. Sorry, give me one moment here.
Okay. No, sorry. I had a thing on my phone. I had to address. Um, Taylor Swift was unexpected. Dude, I listen to all kinds of stuff, man. Dude, the Frozen 2 soundtrack, I think, is amazing. <laughs> like, I'll listen to anything. I mean, I listen to a lot of blues. I listen to a lot of jazz. Um, game soundtracks. I mean, it, and, you know, 90s country. You know, music from back when MTV did videos. <laughs> those those days. I, um... Uh, But yeah, it, it all it all depends on the mood. Can you guys see me back here? I'm sort of squatting down. Or just leaning back. I have a few professional comics behind me. I'm always fascinated by the creative process, especially when it comes to how each artist perceives differently. I love the storyboarding part of the process. Um yeah, like that'll be that'll that'll be really fun. That'll be a fun part for sure. Um, personally, um, I don't know. I, I guess I, I I would I think I would call it thumbnails is what I would call it. I guess it's storyboards. It's the same thing. Um, my goal with this is, uh, and I, and I stole this idea from um, what is that dude's name? Give me a second. Robert Valley. Yeah. Robert Valley did um he did some stuff for Love Death and Robots and and a bunch of other stuff. But uh his process for how he did his shorts is was the first time that I've ever seen somebody doing that. And I was like, "Oh, I can do that." Like cuz he has this very like lo-fi, low-tech kind of gorilla animation style. <laughs> and um uh, it was the first time that I was like, oh, that, that clicked with me. Like that, that method specifically clicked really hard with me, which is to take, uh, the storyboards or the, or the thumbnails, make that into a comic. And then once the comic's done, use the comic as storyboards for the sh animated short that I want to do. And then uh, at that point, I'll have animated a movie, a short, and have a comic book. And uh, I don't need to do anything else. <laughs> After that, we're just going to survive. We'll be like, bucket list, achieve. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I had hoped to start all this stuff a long time ago, but the last, like, three years has been horrible physically, so, like, I just didn't... I had time to work, <laughs> that was it. I didn't get any videos out I wanted to get out, I didn't get a whole lot of stuff done I didn't want to do. But, I made a lot of progress in the last couple of weeks. My, my jaw relocated itself about four days ago. And I wish that I would have known that my jaw has been dislocated for the last three years. Because uh, that's effectively what it was. Um, I think I did kind of know that. But it, but, uh, I just couldn't... Uh, wouldn't go back in. But yeah, like I was like... I don't know what I was doing. I, I was working on this issue and it's kind of like yoga type stuff I'm doing sort of to try to get this stuff to clear out and uh, 
So I'm like pushing on this ear and I've got a finger uh, pushing on my cheek and I turn my head a certain way and like close one eye and like blink three times. All of a sudden my head goes crack. And my, the jaw on this side, like it did like a figure eight and then like pow back up into my head. And like so much of the tension went right out of my body <laughs> at that point. I've been trying to tell him it was dislocated three years ago. They didn't believe me. Anyway, I've given up on Western medicine now. <laughs> Until I need like, a, you know, as far as for diagnosis purposes, I've given up on them. Like I know what's wrong with me better than they do now. <laughs> Are you guys going to see Violent Night? That trailer looks fantastic. We're going to see it Friday. I like David Harbour too. That should be good. It looks too awesome. It really does. It looks fun. It looks like a lot of fun. Hopefully it is. If you're wondering why this bag of chips stands out so much, or pretzels, it comes up a little bit later. <laughs> if you're wondering why, why do you make it glow orange? I just want to make sure people notice it. It's going to come up on the next page. So yeah, read your script, kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's why colors need scripts. Exactly. Exactly. This guy looks really happy to be here. You make everything different colors from panel to panel, it won't matter. <laughs> if I just make everything different colors from panel to panel, it won't matter. Say what? <laughs> Sorry, not following. Oh, slap the colors around, it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't read your script at all if you don't want, uh, if you really want to make it exciting. <laughs> no. 
some some new colors. It's like Kurt said, don't read the script. Go rebel, do your own thing. Got it. Click. <laughs> oh man. All right. So what am I missing here? I think I want to go. little bit more saturated in the background slightly because everybody in the front is so desaturated they're all pretty desaturated it looks a little bit better You have a lot of experience, so I guess you usually know what, how to approach a page. When was the last time you saw an artwork and thought, now that's going to be a challenge? <laughs> when was the last time? Not that long ago. Probably. But yeah, I don't know. I can't really be any more specific than that. But um, usually I try to be careful about the projects that I take. And I need to like the art. I need to really like the art. I, I've learned over the years that like the books that I've signed on, or not even just books, like random covers. Like I don't want to be anybody like looking at what I'm working on and trying to like figure out. This is not a current project. Um, but uh and it was not a major series or anything it was like a one-off thing but um the um the few times that i've like oh this this pays well or this is a good reason or i'm gonna do this anyway and like it just becomes a slog of like the challenge like trying to when you're having to like fix things it, you know and i don't mean fix the art but like that doesn't happen to me very often now it did early on but um, I have to like the art though. That's one thing I figured out. If I don't like what the final product looks, you know, it looks like regardless of what I'm doing, it's no fun. It's your dinner time. See you next time. Yeah. Take it easy, Jason. This is, this one's not going to take too much longer. I don't think. At least I don't think so. We'll see. But usually, I will say that the things that people assume to be challenging usually isn't challenging to me. And I don't, I don't mean that like, and I don't mean that the way it sounded. I mean like, uh, when people say like, oh, that looks really complicated or like something that's highly, highly, highly detailed. Like, that is tough for flatters, but it's, I don't, I don't think it's any tougher for the colorist. You know, it's way more time consuming for the flatters, but the principles are still the same, um, regardless. Um,
I'm trying to break this uh, panel up again a little bit differently from the rest just because it's sort of a not sort of but it's like a you know it's a reaction panel like and so they're seeing something very uh, you know jarring here and so like shifting the color of the line shifting the color palette a little bit whatever like it all helps to like uh, uh, make the, the like the feel of that panel shift a little bit if that makes sense Any tips on choosing clothes colors? I have a hard time uh, doing that. I just, as long as they're not distracting, I don't think it really matters that much. I mean, you know, it's like if if I decided to like, you know, do some kind of like crazy saturation or something, like it would feel out of place. So like, just think about, um, um, having it uh you know near enough to the, all the other colors that are on the canvas that it just you know i don't think it matters that much honestly
You say nothing happens, but I don't trust it. What's up, Rando? <laughs> The only thing that I'm, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's because like, how would I put this? Um, there's so little local color in this book. I mean, like that aren't really limited palettes. My instincts are telling me that these colors are too local there's not enough of like a color cast that's what my guts tell me but i don't know if they think that's true i could mm, i guess i could let me just see what this looks like real quick uh you, like something like a, a overlay or soft light or there's a bunch of ways to do this um which will sort of tint everything a little bit more toward a certain color. And that'll like sort of neutralize skin tones a little bit more. It's probably hard to see unless you toggle it, you know? I don't know if I, yeah, I think I kind of like it where it was. Sorry, I'm still like trying stuff right now <laughs> for some of this. Yeah, I think the backgrounds were too, uh, maybe too flat compared to the rest of it. Maybe that's a better way of saying it. So I'm going to kind of overdo all of this and then uh, rain it back a little bit. Do I like that or do I not like that? I don't know. That's hypothetical. I'm not asking. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes you just need information in the background. It doesn't have to be just just detail. It doesn't have to be even like right detail, just detail. <laughs> At least that's what it seems like to me. That was my stomach. Is that coming across? <laughs> Is my mic picking that up? <laughs> it 
So imagine like, I'm trying to imagine like a bokeh type effect, not really, but that type of just, again, just stuff, just stuff back here. Alrighty, and then we're going to kind of warm up these faces a little bit. Maybe make these guys a little extra red faced. <laughs> But overlay is allowing most of these values to come through. Like I'm not having to like re-render things because they've already been rendered. And I'm not going quite as strong on these because their faces are green basically. And so if you try to add red, it's really just gonna darken just fine. The bag of chip feels like it's going to reveal who is who's in the wreck plane later. It's so much worse than that. <laughs> this book is dark, man. It's so dark. A lot of heavy lifting for a bag of chips. That's right. Uh, I think I like this. I think we're about done here. Uh, questions, comments, concerns. Worse, he says. This is just inspirational. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think this page is done. So, uh, oh, the coloring. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, Oh, I didn't do these things. Thanks for help last night <laughs> in the Discord. <laughs> yeah, man, no problem, dude. It's like we weren't even speaking the same language there for a second. <laughs> Like who's on first? I don't know who's on second. What's on third? <laughs> it was late. <laughs> I hear you. 
No problem, man. I promise. I have seen and heard it all, so don't feel bad. All right. I think I am done staring at this. Let me show you guys what we've done today. There we go. Well, my head's in the way. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, that's actually the first two pages of the second issue right there. You guys are getting the first look <laughs> at the preview. <laughs> I'll probably sleep on these and uh, look at them tomorrow and make a few tweaks. That's usually how this goes. So, um, but as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something. Click buttons, subscribe, like, comment, click a button. You know. Anyway, thanks again, guys, and uh, we'll see you all in the next one. Take care.